one, wasn't it? I don't know. Anyway, let's go E4. Anyway, okay, let's play D4, play the French, advanced French. I think is probably the best opening. Very easy. Develop the knight, bishop, castle, the king. You get this chain. Now you have to decide where you're putting your light square bishop between these two squares. I'll put it here for right now. Um, let's trade. And he goes bishop B5, which is actually a very good move, but I'm just going to castle. And after takes, he's going to play queen A6. I will not trade the queens. What I want to do is I, I want to start shuffling everything over towards the king side. So I, I would take everything and like push it over that way. So I'm going to play knight to c3. I'm going to go here and knight g3. This is what I'm angling for. Or actually, I played the order wrong because queen f4 hangs the knight. After knight takes d5, you still have queen g2 because pawn's on h3. Oh, you're right. That's true. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play knight g3. I'm happy to trade the knights here. I bring a pawn towards the center, which is what I want. Let's see what he does. Opposite scene for us, yes. He come, he he Mao. I want to win more. Can you help, please? Uh, I'm trying to explain what I'm doing in these games. I think it's actually pretty pretty good, pretty good stuff. Let's take with a pawn. Now, of course, again, I'm angling. I have all kinds of ideas. I want to shift everything to the king side. I want to push it all over that way. That's what I'm ang that's what I'm trying to do. What's the deal with the Maga stream on kick? Is it fake? I don't know. I don't know. It's great. I learned more in 10 minutes than watching other streamers. I mean, it's all content. It depends what your target is. I, I, again, I think it's, if I, I will, I will, I'll be, will, I, I think if you're trying to learn, watching these educational arenas are actually probably the best content that I have for you guys. If you're trying to learn something as opposed to just the, like the classic shock and awe. Um, if you're, if you're looking for like slower videos, like on YouTube, I, I've, I've said it before. I'll say it again. I do think people like Andrus Toth and John Bartholomew are without a doubt, the absolute best, um, best people are doing it. Do you think Levy is, is, do you think you're a better teacher than Levy? Um, in general, no, but Levy's content has gotten so far away from actual like teaching and, and trying to help players that, uh, I think my content might actually be better if you're trying to learn something on, on YouTube videos at this point. But if Levy was actively trying to teach the way that he used to, uh, no, he'd be much better. Um, not Dania. Dania's great, but Dania is a little bit more along the lines that I am, which is Dania's, Dania's, uh, Dania's stuff tends to be a little bit more high class generally. They're not high class. It seems to be for like higher ratings. Okay. I played 95 here. Uh, now I've got a great knight in the center of the board. I can play rook to c1 or rook to e1. I'm going to go here and try to claim the one open file in the, in, on the board. Um, no, I mean, don't misunderstand what I'm saying about Levy to say like that, that his stuff isn't. But I mean, his old content, some of that was really good. But I think the content he makes now, it's just like, it's not, it's not even, it's not even about, it's just, to, it's any, it's like, it's so far from what uh, the original, the original learning, learning stuff that he did. Let's play rook c7 here. Um, and I'm going to go queen c1 or queen c2 to line up rook c8 ideas. Uh, queen d6 is actually a very good, very good move potentially. If I move my queen, I lose the pawn. So let's take this one. I still guard the pawn on d4 here. No, Dan Dania, Dania stuff. If you're an am if you're an amateur player, absolutely. No, if you're if you're an amateur player, uh, Dania's content. Like if you're like 18, 1900, his, that stuff is really good. That's uh, Dania stuff is really good. If you're if you're a serious am amateur, Dania's by far and away the best, without a doubt, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Every time I see a Levy video, it's about Magus. It's just whatever gets the clicks. That's what I said before. And it's unfortunate that's how YouTube works this way. But the you know you become a slave to the algorithm, and you literally have to do certain things. That's just how it is. It's just the reality. Now I have Knight of Seven to fork the Queen and the Rook here. It's, again, it's a tactic. It's not the only way to win the game. I could also try to go like Queen D two, Rook C one, and Rook C seven as well. That's another way to play it. Uh, let's just take the Rook. And now what I want to do in order to win the game is I've got this great rook king of stuck. So either I want to trade the queens. Uh, I can also go queen e2, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go queen to g4 and play rook c1, rook c7. Let's trade and go rook c1 here and rook c7. And now here I'm going to stack the rooks on seven. I'm going to go for a checkmate pretty quickly. Do you, do you like kick so far? I think kick is fantastic. I have no issues. I'm, I'm enjoying it immensely. 
um far more than i actually initially thought i might like i i thought that i wasn't sure i thought i might split my time 50 50 between between twitch and kick originally but um it's just yeah it's been it's been a very it's been a breath of fresh air uh far less trolls a lot more of the hardcore fans um of course there are a lot of juicers who are coming over to the site now as well um but a lot more of the hardcore fans a lot less of the the stupid trolling nonsense so uh overall yeah my experience has been extremely positive so far extremely positive Rook d7 yeah Now here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go check, and I'm gonna split the rooks here. I'm gonna play rook h7, and then he's gonna actually get laddered. I think no matter what he does, this is actually a very important concept. It's very counterintuitive to check and then split the rooks. If I move the rook this way, he can keep the king one square away from the rook. But I split the rook far, and now when he takes, he can't actually stop the ladder because the rook is over here instead of g7. So when he goes over, I made him. But the rook here, he can go over and stop the mate. So this is sort of a little bit counterintuitive. Just checkmate. 